Hi, I am Oliver Colchis, an inspector for the RV Industry Association. And in this standards video, I will tell you about how to protect your 120 volt wires in the storage areas in your RV. In the photos below, we see an example of a storage area under the dinette seats, which are very common in many RV models. The 120 volt Romex wire is extremely low and resting right next to the blade of a saw. The photo on the right is a close-up of the photo on the left, and one can see how easily the wire could be damaged by the sharp saw blade on the reciprocating saw. The customer who bought this RV could do significant damage to this wire by storing something like a saw in this storage compartment. This is why wire protection is so very important. Although we are only covering storage areas in this video, it's important to note that even if the accessible area is marked not for storage, this requirement still applies. This label does not prevent the consumer from using the area. Here are some signage examples that might be seen in various RV models. So what makes an area qualify as a storage area in an RV? A storage area is any compartment over four inches wide that is not screwed shut. Some notable storage areas would be under the sink in the kitchen, any cupboards, drawers, or cabinets throughout the RV, hatches in the floor, below the bathroom sink or vanity, underneath the bed, and under the seats in the dinette area. If these areas can be opened without removing screws or other permanent construction, then these requirements must be met. So how can you protect your wires in the storage areas? You must use one of these bullet points here on the right to protect your wire. You can use covering boards, guard strips, conduit, electrical non-metallic tubing, or you can just route your unprotected wire within two inches of the top of the storage area compartment. Typically, the term covering board has been associated with strips of wood used to cover exposed Romex. As seen in the figure on the left, the covering boards cover the Romex completely. However, the figure on the right shows the covering board only covering the Romex partially, leaving some unexposed, unprotected wire shown by the red arrow. Another way to protect your 120 volt wire in the storage areas would be by the use of guard strips, as shown by the various photos in this slide. Also, non-metallic sheath cable routed closely between two pieces of cleat stock would be considered protected, provided it does not extend beyond the outer edges of the cleat stock. This slide shows various types of conduit or piping that is used to protect your wires in storage areas. In the center is the gray electrical conduit and on the right is metal conduit. Also, ABS piping can be used to protect your wires. In this slide, we see a form of protection called electrical non-metallic tubing. In the photos below, you can see a common type called blue ENT. If your wire is routed within the top two vertical inches of the compartment, it would not need additional protection. In the photo at the top left and in the center, you can see that the wire is lower than two inches. It would either need to be secured and routed higher within the top two inches of the compartment or it would need to be protected by some of the methods that we have already discussed. For your information, this two inch measurement includes the top cleat that is the upper frame member of the compartment. In this slide, we see a photo at the left with an unprotected Romex wire routed within the top two inches of the storage area. This is correct and the wire does not need any additional protection. However, the photo on the right is incorrect 
because the wire is located lower than two inches of the top of the area for storage. This wire would either need more protection by the means that we already discussed, or it would need to be secured and supported within the top two inches of the storage area in question. It is important to note that convoluted tubing, also known as split loom or snakeskin, is not an acceptable means of protection for your 120 volt wires in storage areas. Thanks a lot for watching this RV Industry Association standards video.